big swing face. Sample this. Hi, this is Randy from Big Swing Face with a walkthrough of our new live performance software called Gigland. Gigland is a contact multi-script that allows you to set up live performance scenes that have all the sounds you need and ready to perform quickly changeable and quick to set up. First thing we do is we use contact as a standalone. That's the best way to get the low latency and low overhead for your computer in live performance. We then drag the Gigland multi into the window and you will see here the first window of Gigland is called the scenes window. Each of these columns represents one of the 16 MIDI channels in the contact rack. All those settings in that column can be remembered with the scene. Let's load up a sound. Here we'll put in the Big Swing Grand from Big Swing Face. Now I have that on channel 1. We will turn on channel 1 and you'll see the zone light will come on. And I can then set up the parameters of that zone, which are relative volume. This is volume relative to the master volume seen up here, allowing you to give each zone in your rack a different relative volume, mixing the sounds. Here we have expression control, which we'll go over in a minute. We have input channel, allowing you to select different keyboards or different MIDI controllers to control the different zones. So each of these could be set to a different channel and the different keyboard in your rig could control that zone, allowing you to have multiple keyboards feeding this scene. Transpose, it's simply a MIDI transpose allowing us to change the key of the instruments. This is very helpful if you're gonna set up keyboard splits or if you have sounds that are, for example, in the wrong range. We have high and low range for each zone, so this is simple to set. Press the button, you'll see the yellow light indicates a pending MIDI note. I'll hit the note and that changes to C4. Let's do the same thing here, C2. Now this sound only plays between those two notes, giving me a, a range for keyboard splits as an example. Program change, not relevant to this piano because this piano is only one sound, but if you have an instrument in your MIDI rack that can accept program changes, such as an instrument bank, you can use these to select the sounds that will show up on that zone. Let's take a look at that. What I will do now is I will close this piano interface to make it smaller, and I will load a new instrument bank. And you'll see here it looks kind of blank and meaningless. Now if I click the wrench, we now have, you will see all the slots in there that could have different sounds. Let's load a few pad sounds into these um, slots here, and you'll see that um, Peaceful Forest, uh, and we will have one more, which is, uh, let's put this one in there. Okay, so now um, each of these sounds is now going to appear on channel 2, and the program change will select which of these sounds will, you will hear when you play. Now, this allows, as I change scenes, to have different sounds coming from this particular MIDI channel. Think of it as a synthesizer with presets. It is probably good to use low memory sounds in a bank because you're loading them all at the same time into memory. Here, I will use the expression pedal input. Now, I have the expression CC set to 11, which is very common for expression pedals. You can set it to whatever you want. Uh, and as I play, um, controller number 11 will fade in the pad in and out. Now, keep in mind the piano is not set to have expression, so now I, I'm able to use a pedal to fade in a second layer. Let's say we have a sound in here, a sound on, on channel, it's an octave too low. Well, we'll use transpose to fix that, so we will go up here. Set this to 12 half steps higher. Maybe it's two octaves too low. Yeah, so now, on, under control of a pedal, second layer. So, this is what we call a scene. If I want to save the scene, I'm going to click the lock button and then hit save. The lock button prevents an accidental save. I can then step through the different scenes, and here's an example. These are some names of other scenes in here. 
and you can see that you can put your own name in there. The way this is done is by clicking the in name button and typing the name of your scene and saving that one, number eight. Now you'll see if we go back to scene one, I can type in one if I want, and we're back where I, uh, I'm sorry, scene zero. You'll see that we're still where we were with the pad and the pedal. But if I go to another scene, a completely different set of sounds drawn from this rack down here, transpositions and everything else will be saved for us. The second page in the interface is called the favorites and you'll see here that there are blocks here and these blocks are are selectable with the mouse or with the previous and next buttons or even with program changes and this will allow you to select the scenes that you want in any order you want I can have scene number five and then this will be scene number three and as you see it's gonna go number one number five number three it's interesting, they all have the same name. There you go. Um, scene number zero here, init scene. And I can go through all the scenes in any order. And there are 16 banks of these, uh, allowing you to, for example, click through all your setups during a song or between songs. And uh, your gig is ready to play. Now, once you're done with all this and you have everything set the way you want, all you have to do then is go to Save Multi As and we can save and give it a new name test one <laughs> very clever huh and save it and now uh, if I wanna um, launch contact again everything is right where I left it up to 128 scenes all the sounds everything's ready to go for live performance so next time around we'll talk about using program changes controller changes uh, to call up the sounds we want uh, remotely from our keyboard see you next time